Hi everyone, welcome to the presentation of X504 Group 10. Today we want to introduce our open source implementation of point painting, which is a sequential fusion framework for 3D object detection. This 3D object detection has been a very important research topic in the field of autonomous vehicles. Since autonomous vehicles require very accurate and precise perception of the surrounding 3D environment, it is obvious that the accuracy of 3D object detection is essential to make self-driving cars safer and more effective. The sensors that self-driving cars use most frequently are LiDAR and camera. The LiDAR can obtain a point cloud of the surrounding environment. And in each point cloud frame, there are many points, and uh, for each point, it has uh, 3D coordinates and the reflection intensity. But the LiDAR points are sparse when it is compared to camera image. You may find that the point cloud has much lower resolution than camera image. However, the camera image lacks the depth, so it is hard to do 3D object detection based on camera image only. And there are many datasets that are utilized for the research of self-driving cars. Kitty is one of them and it is widely utilized to do the 3D object detection. It has the LiDAR and camera modalities. In fact, self-driving cars are usually embedded with multiple sensors like the camera and the LiDAR. However, the LiDAR only methods usually outperform the fusion-based methods on the main benchmark, including the Kitty. So it suggests a huge gap between the LiDAR-only approach and the Fusion approach. We think that it is unreasonable because we offer more information to the network, but we get the a worse result. So point painting is utilized to solve this gap. You may ask, what is point painting? In short words, point painting is to paint a LiDAR point cloud with the semantic information on the RGB image. There are three main stages for point painting. The first one is semantic segmentation. That is to determine the class for each pixel in the image. The second stage is the fusion. That is to transform the LiDAR points into the image and find the class scores for each point in the point cloud frame. The third stage is the 3D object detection. That is to say, use the painting point cloud to do the LiDAR-based 3D object detection. So the point painting takes the original point cloud XYZ intensity and fuse it with the RGB image semantic information to get a painting point cloud. That is to have more four more channels C1, C2, C3, C4. Each stands for background, car, pedestrian, and cyclist. So why point painting works? Actually, in information theory, we believe that when we provide more effective information, we should get better results. So in this image, you might see it is very clear that there are a car, a person, and a cyclist. So we continue to see why point painting works. Just assume you are a LiDAR detector, and when you face this row point cloud, it is very hard to, to know that there is a person, a car, and a pedestrian. Even if you are well experienced with a row LiDAR point cloud, this task is still very difficult. However, if you are facing with this painting point cloud, you should see that it is very clear that there are three objects and uh, it might make your task of detecting objects quite easy. Another benefit that comes with point painting is to solve the problems with sparse points classification. And you might see that there are three clusters of points, but it is hard to distinguish which is which. But if you, are, you have the image information, it is quite clear that the middle cluster represents a pedestrian, while the other two are corresponding to a traffic sign. So we know that point painting tends to be a very effective solution to fuse a camera image and LiDAR point cloud. But this is not open source, so we want to re-implement the idea of point painting and make our 
implementation open source. Our implementation of point painting consists of two main parts. The first one is a painter, which is based on the PyTorch and MS implementation. We custom a painter class to do the painting. Another part is a detector, which is based on OpenPC Dead. And we custom configurations for painting point cloud because it has different dimensions than the original point cloud. For the image based semantic segmentation, our implementation relies on PyTorch and MM segmentation to achieve DeepLab V3, V3, and HMA. Since our model relies on PyTorch and MM segmentation, any model supported by them can be utilized to do the painting job. For the LiDAR detector, we use OpenPC Dead, which is a widely utilized open source 3D object detection framework. And it supports many state-of-the-art network structures. We just use a point piler because the point piler has the least training time, which suits this project scope. This is the result of our semantic segmentation. You can see that the raw image and the all three painting images are quite close and work quite well. But for and cyclists, things would be much different. We can see that DeepLab V3 tends to fail at this scenario, while DeepLab V3 Plus and HMA work quite well. So this is a painting point cloud. You might see that the point cloud is correctly labeled with the class scores. And we use a painting point cloud to do a demo. And we can see that the objects are correctly detected. We also conduct some quantity analysis, and based on the results we obtain, we find that point pilar plus HMA has the highest mean average precision on all classes among all of the painting methods. And all the painting methods achieve better precision on detecting the pedestrians, which is very important to ensure the safety of the safe driving cars. And for HMA, it has both higher accuracy on detecting pedestrian and the cyclists. So we think that HMA is the best semantic segmentation network for the point painting. This is thanks to the X504 core staff, and we also want to thanks to the open source community. Our implementation would not be possible without all these wonderful open source packages. And we also want to say thanks for the author of point painting because it is very interesting to develop this package and thanks for listening implementation you can learn more at our open source repo